I've been on the board for eight years. We have 2,200 courses, MIT courses on engineering online. All I need is motivation and time. I don't need teacher. It's all there. But I don't get a degree. Because where I get to go to get a job, guy says you have a degree. No, I don't have a degree. But I know everything. But he won't listen. Because we give you degree when you exit. We need to give degree when you enter. But these are all radical concepts. I don't need four years to go to college. Whosoever came up with this idea was brilliant because he sold it to the world. <laughs> you know, it takes four years in China, it takes four years in Japan, it takes four years in India, it takes four years in the US. I don't know why. <laughs> that has to change. Where? Today, education system is too expensive. In the US, it takes $40,000 a year to get tuition. If you want to get an MBA, it's hundred to hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. For what? <laughs> you know, I can go on the internet and learn most of it. Maybe not hundred percent. So people say you network. You go to meetings like this and you network. You don't need to go to university, pay hundred and fifty thousand dollars to network. <laughs> Nobody wants to change. I'm telling you, it's a, it's a very serious problem. I'm doing a book right now on global action sort of program for uh, us to rethink through our development. Our development today is based on US model. Everybody wants to copy US, which is essentially based on consumption. It is not scalable. Sustainable, workable, desirable in many parts of the world. That model worked for 500 million people or 250 million people. It can't work for another 3 billion. So what is the new model of development? Everybody wants to do the same thing. You know, you get a ranking of the university. Most of it is bogus. You know? But people buy it. The whole idea of GDP, GNP, per capita income, balance of payment, foreign exchange reserve, not necessarily makes sense anymore in internet age. You need new economics. You don't have new economics. You look at WhatsApp. WhatsApp got valued at 19 billion. 40 people. 19 billion is you can buy, you know, Empire State Building and Sears Tower and 14 Four Seasons Hotel and whatever. How do you explain this? Because that's new economics. But it's not plugged into our equation. We are still measuring things based on old economics. I think we are at a very interesting time in human history. Most of the people want to go back to what it was. It is not possible to go back to what it was. The world has changed completely. And everything we did in 20th century needs rethinking. So when the US government puts in $900 billion to save banks, I don't know whether that's the right thing to do, okay? Because you cannot go back to what it was. Look at what is happening in the EU, okay? That's trained everywhere about going back to what it was. Forget it. Somebody has to say you can't go back to what it was. You've got to go forward. We are not creating enough jobs because everybody wants to create the same job we had. Those jo jobs don't exist. Nobody's creating new jobs. This is a global challenge. Well, 